Hi everybody, it's Estelle, the budgeting introvert. And today I'm gonna do a quick video to show you my budget uh, for my upcoming paycheck. I actually get paid tomorrow. So this will just be a quick budget uh, review so you can see um, what I have coming out for this next paycheck. I'm also going to roll, take out the cash from the uh, previous two weeks from my wallet and show you a interesting new savings challenge that is completely free and I look forward to playing it. So if you want to see everything I just mentioned, then stick around because we're going to get right into it. Okay, so how is everybody doing today? I had a really good day today. You know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just a day. And you know what? I'll take days like those, you know, because I've had a crazy week. So I'm happy to just say I'm doing okay today. I also have to tell you guys a story that happened last night. And it happened because I was doing my budget. So I'll get to that part once we get through the budgets. But I don't want to keep you guys any longer because I'm sure you all have things to do this evening. So let me just, before I start this, say thank you to everyone who watched my last video or any of my videos, you know, left a review or a review, left a comment, you know, subscribe, liked. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much uh, for your generosity and attention to my financial uh, ignorance in a way because I am but wanting to get better financially. So thank you for joining me on my journey. And if you're new here, come join me on this journey. You know, we all are in the same boat one way or another and support in this community is absolutely amazing. So, you know, I hope you stick around if you like what you see and, you know, share it with other people. So let me just get into this again so I don't keep anyone too long. I, my paycheck is coming tomorrow, so I wanted to do a quick little budget. Um, for rollover, I'm rolling over $500. I think it was $300 usually that I do, but I got $500 this time. I'm not a zero-based budgeter. You know, I need to have a buffer, and that is my buffer. I didn't put my paycheck on here because if you remember I did this last time, I keep my paycheck private because I do have people that I know who watch this. Uh, so that's why there's nothing there. My gas is coming out of this. I budgeted around $33 for my gas. My rent, uh, I budgeted for $13.90. It fluctuates a lot. $1,390 uh, for my two bed, two bath. This is actually going to go up in July, July 1st, I believe, which I am not looking forward to. But it is cheaper than other places with the same two bed, two bath. So I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm sure people who have mortgages are like, what the heck? What are you paying? I know, I know, I know. Uh, my Wi-Fi is $50, you know. So these are the only three bills that I have that are coming out of this paycheck. Um, I uh, budget, which is this wallet here. I uh, have my groceries, is getting $90 my, for my cat. If you hear her, sorry, she's in a mood. But... She's getting 40, gas is getting 50, which does me pretty well. Uh, for household, 25, toiletries, 15. For myself, I'm giving myself 25. Dining out, I'm giving myself 25. And coffee, I'm giving 20, but that's to get coffee supplies, not you know, going to Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I make my coffee at home, so that's just to get supplies, because I make a chai tea and I need the proper, you know, ingredients for that. For my debts, I don't have credit card debt. I believe we see, make sure you guys can, you know, see that. I don't have credit card debt, but I do have a loan that I'm currently paying on. I took it out some time ago and I'm almost done with it. Uh, it's $284 a month, but it will be paid this year. And then of course the IRS, they got me a few years ago. I think maybe two years ago. No, a year ago. I forgot to file a form. You know, I own up to it, you know, and I'm on a payment plan for them. So 
once I save up enough, I plan on paying both of these off as soon as I can. But that's 50 bucks a month. But it's always budgeted for. Now, we're going to go into my sinking funds. Now, my rollover cash from my wallet, I put towards my sinking funds. And it, but if I don't have enough to cover it, I'll take it out of my account. I also have a roll of quarters that I will be trading in. So that's another $10 going towards my sinking funds. But, you know, I'm going to put $7 for my car wash. Who de I desperately need a car wash. Those of you who have vehicles, do you normally get your car washed once a month, every other month? Do you just do it in the backyard, maybe? <laughs> like, I really need to get my car washed. Uh, car maintenance is getting $10. And since I'm a gamer, I give myself $8 in case there's a game I want to buy. And then my sister, I give her $45. Um, but I don't take the money out. I used to, but I leave it in my bank account. And when she asks me for some money, I just take it out that way. So it's just easier because she doesn't live with me. So it's just easier to just transfer the money electronically. Uh, emergency fund. This is, this comes out automatically. I never see this. If you guys have seen me talk about my emergency fund, that 200 automatically comes out. So I won't see it. My funcation, which is like a vacation, but fun, is $180. This already got paid today. So I actually should, let me grab a pen really quick, even if it's not the same color pen, it's a pen. And I'm just gonna write actual 180 because I already got this today. And then for savings, for savings challenges, anything that I wanna do that you will see on camera, of course, I'm taking out 127 for that. So I did a breakdown. And if you guys remember the last time I did this, it was so funny because I couldn't add it correctly. And I said I wasn't doing that anymore. I'm gonna have it ready. So it is ready. So this is the breakdown that I will be doing. And I have my cash breakdown card here, right here. So this is what I'm going to write. So I'm going to speed you guys up really quickly while I write down this information on this card. So I will be right back. Okay. So this is what I have that I will be taking out and you'll see me stuff my wallet and everything but this is the cash that I will be going to the bank tomorrow uh, after work hopefully after work <laughs> to get and this is how much it will be so this is coming with me tomorrow to the bank and that's it for my budget so I just wanted to at least show you guys just a quick you know look at my budget it's nothing fancy or anything like that but it's my budget <laughs> so let me do my cash let me zoom you guys out really quick so you guys can see the cash tray um, so originally for my groceries as you can see make sure you're in frame I had $90 I now have left over after two weeks $11 so let me just set up a little bit here. Okay. Uh, my pet care, uh, my cat's, my cat has her own folder or folder envelope. And that's where her money goes. That's why there's nothing in there. She always has leftover. I make sure of that. Gas. I used up all $50 of my gas. I have been driving everywhere. So yeah, that's gone. <laughs> Household. I had 25 uh, two weeks ago, and now, if I can get it out, uh, I have 15, so it's not too bad. Toiletries, I had 15, and now, once I get it out, <laughs> I have one, two, three, four dollars. For myself, I spent all my money. <laughs> Isn't that what we all say? I spent all my money. So I got nothing. Dine out, I have nothing. And for coffee, I gave myself 30, I believe. 
and I have 21 because I did buy some um, supplies so 21 and that's it for the wallet next time you see it it will be cash stuffing for it so let's see what I was able to roll over in total I was able to roll over for my sinking funds 20 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 and 51 so not bad 51 dollars going in the cash tray and i'm going to close it and that'll go towards sinking funds and perhaps you'll see a video of that we'll see so i wanted to tell you guys a quick story of what happened to me last night I was doing my, and you've seen the title of this, so you already know where this is going. I was doing my budget last night, and I went to check my bank account. And the last thing that I knew was coming out was my gym membership. But above that was a charge to T-Mobile. I don't have T-Mobile. Those of you who live in the States, you know there's T-Mobile, there's AT&T, there's Verizon, they do phone, internet, etc. I do AT&T, not T-Mobile. So I was like, I don't know what this is. So I disputed the claim. And of course, they're going to refund me the money for it. And they shut my card down and I'm going to get a new card. But that just nailed home the fact to always continue to check your accounts, know your accounts in and out, your budget, you know what days things come out. Check it frequently so you don't see things like that pop up that you know you did not charge and you don't know where it came from because cards get compromised all the time. So I was glad that I'm a person that always stays on top of her finances and her accounts because if I didn't, I wouldn't have seen that. And someone would have probably done more damage down the road if I didn't put a stop to it. So just always keep that in mind when you're budgeting and looking at your finances. The last thing I want to show you I'm so excited of, and I caused a little issue on uh, her website when I did this, but um, on her YouTube, I should say. But this is here beautifully me and you put a video out uh yesterday and those of you who follow her probably already know this she's doing in collaboration with other um budget budgeters i was gonna say budgeteers it sounds like a mickey mouse club thing but budgeters i guess um they're doing a bingo so on you can see, i'll put it close to the camera if you've never seen this before sorry i hit the camera <laughs> but so on um, Beautiful Me and, Me and You on the 19th, she's going to do the first draw for this bingo. And then every two days, you have to go to these different channels, and they're going to do the different draws on these days. Um, this is a free item. If you go to any one of these channels, you just click on the last video, and you should be able to, to download this. It is a freebie. And you just... Play bingo. They're going to roll and just say, you know, maybe I8 or G1 or maybe they say gr uh, yellow 2 or something like that. Purple 4. I don't know how they're going to do it. I think that's how they said they were going to do it. And you color in the balls. Now, the videos are two days apart. People don't get paid two days apart. So you can mark it off and the next time you get paid, you add a little money to it. It, it, it's just or you can wait until you total it all up and then you can add your money there's three dollar signs on here there's one there let me see if i can see there's one there and there's one there that's whatever you want to make it i think for them they said they were going to do twenty dollars and below i was thinking i might do you know um two dollars three dollars four dollars something small you know it's whatever you want to make it so this is a freebie on any one of their channels. I want to say thank you to all of them for creating this. You know, to me, I've never seen this before. So to me, it's new. If you've seen people collab like this before, that's great. But I personally have not. So that's why I am so excited to do this. Because it is my first time doing a, some type of collab like this. Without even being in the collab, I'm doing a, a savings like this. So if you're interested in joining, again... I'll put the names up there. If you know anybody, you know, you can print out your own and join the fun. It starts on the 19th and I will be joining this. So I can't wait. So with that being said, 
that's all that I have. So I'm going to shut this video down at this point. Um, thank you for sticking around and watching. Please leave a comment below, like. I love talking to you guys. Whether here or on Instagram, that's where you can also find me. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. If I don't see you before then, I probably will. You know, I'm hoping to do another video Saturday. That'll just be a quick cash stuffing video it's for my wallet. But if I don't see you then, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Continue to save. I'll talk to you later. Bye.